Hello everyone and welcome to my first look of Train Life, a railway simulator. Uh, now before we do get started, I do want to say a big thanks to Nacon or Train Life for sponsoring the video. Big, big thanks and giving us a key to show it off. Um, and also, if you do enjoy today's video and you do want to uh, get the game yourself, uh, so early access is available on Steam. There will be a link in the description below. Um, but let's just start game. I did. I must admit, I did go in. I think into a, uh, into a scenario just to sort of make sure the graphics were all good, make sure everything was all working fine. As you know, we don't want to go in and then all of a sudden be changing all the graphics and all that sort of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to do new game. Uh, oh hello. Um, so it looks like we're making our own company. I've sort of. Um, yeah, I've seen a few videos on the game, not too many, so it is still fairly new to me, but looking forward to giving it a go. Obviously, a big fan of train games, and this one is no exception. So let's do player name as Joe. Uh, nationality, let's see what we've got. Uh, so probably every single country. Um, let's go for British, uh, British, 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 uh, British, no, not the... So it's probably some of the countries, isn't it? So if I go down, if I go down, I go down. Um, keep going down. Look at the trains rumbling past, though. It's brilliant. And it is uh, real trains as well. Well, real, well, based off of real models, uh, which is cool. We will get there. We will get there. Um, United Kingdom, United Kingdom. But yeah, we're setting up a company. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, keep going down. Must be almost there. Uh, United, not United Republic, United Kingdom. There we go. United Kingdom. That would do. Right. Um, age. Can we go for? How young can you go? Okay, the youngest you can go is uh, nineteen. We'll go over nineteen then. Uh, let's uh, let's our little character here. Uh, let's go for. Let's go for him. Uh, select company name, uh, British, oh, spelling it wrong, uh, British Ace, oh, it's a tough one, what do we call the company, um, British Ace, could just do British Ace, or no, British Ace Trains, or Transport, Haulage, no, Haulage is Trucks, British Ace Rail Services, there we go, that will do, I'm really bad when it comes to making names um, up. Um, select a uh, company logo. We've got something similar to the channel. No, we'll go with, yeah, we'll go with that because we have got like a blue and white logo. Uh, start in location. Okay, so you can pick what city you want to start in. Well, let's see. I believe it's Germany in the game, although they have recently, um, when well, the newest update, there's been a Eastern European um, place added. So there's Poland and the Czech Republic. In fact, you can see Luxembourg, Germany, the Netherlands, the UK. Oh, brilliant. Well, we'll start there then. I didn't actually know the UK was in the game, so, well, that's pretty decent. We are called British Rail, well, British Aid Rail Services, so, well, brilliant. Uh, career options, what's this all about? Uh, Customise. Yeah, we'll keep it on default. Uh, casual but dangerous if you're reckless, we'll, we'll do that. Um, oh, no, we... No, we've been in... Um, right, no, it's it saved it, cool. Uh, we just need to change this again. Let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go. Let's go down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Be yeah, a big thanks again to uh, Nacon for sponsoring the video. Keep going down. Keep going down. A lot of countries. A lot of countries. Um, to UK. There it is. There. So quickly change that again. Quickly pop that down to 19. There you go. So it does save it. So that's all good. London. Uh, enable tutorial. I don't know how you play the game, so yeah, great career. Here we go. Fresh, new to the game. I've seen minimal gameplay of this, although I have um, known about this game for quite some time. But here we go. I bet you can see the Vozola G6 there, the Ice Free. I think I can see a talent as well in the profile pic. Well, in the oh, here we go. In Europe, engineer. As and we're on Epic Graphics, exam, I believe. We commend you on your dream of so we'll see how it runs. We might change it, but business. we'll wait and see. Before you graduate, we just need one final example of what you know. And some time behind the throttle, won't Cool. After all, as an aspiring employer, 
It's best to be a Ooh, what's that? That is a... Do I recognise that logo? We've set up this short course in Germany for you to refresh your skills and show us Not what too you sure do. at the moment. Start by familiarizing Look at that. Yourself Brilliant. With little cutscenes. Then follow the instructions to the next few Can do. And you'll be off on your own in no time. I think it is fairly easy to um, get Try going. Not to derail the train. Management Try not to derail the train. That'll be us. Training locomotive. Well, hopefully not. Right, okay. Well, hello. It's all Christmassy. This is quite nice, isn't it? Oh, this is really nice. I mean, I'm recording this in January, um, but it is nice, you know, a nice festive feel to it. Um, right, so what do we do then? Turn headlights using T. T. Uh, and again. There we go. Uh, toggle the cabin lights on and off by uh, selection change cabin lights on the left shift. Left shift, is that the one? Um, or press G. What was it? Change cabin lights. Change cabin lights, there we go. Click. Okay, so that's how you get the uh, cab lights on, or press G. Turn off your emergency brakes using, and yeah, hopefully you can see the speedometer below. The webcam was slightly lower, so I've moved it up to and uh, moved it up a bit. But you can see you've got the speedometer there, um, and the bits and bobs, the HUD, uh, pretty much. Right, take the emergency brake off using spacebar. Uh, use W to increase the throttle 1 and step and drive until your train has a speed of 20 kilometers an hour. So at the moment we've got a green and we've got a 50 limit. So what is it then? S and D? Yeah, S and D for, uh, the, uh, for the acceleration. I suppose we'll find out in a minute what the braking is. Okay, well, let's get that up. Right, there. Uh, use E to increase the brake throttle at least one step and slow down to... Okay, E is to... I guess it's E and D then for the brakes. Yeah, E and D for the brakes. At least one step uh, before we come down to zero kilometres an hour. And you can use D to lower the brake step to zero again. There you go, down we go. Yeah, we'll be mentioning a few bits as we do go along. Uh, press R once... Most completely stopped to toggle the reverser. So that um, indicates the direction of travel, so forward, neutral, reverse. I think unless it might just be reverse and forward, but that's really all you need. Um, and forward. Oh no, 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 wrong thing. <laughs> oh no, we can do that, yes. I thought I was doing the wrong thing then. <laughs> right, back we go. Until 20 kilometers an hour. There we go, we are at 20. To all your emergency brakes, we'll be needing this a lot when it comes to the uh, proper missions. But yeah, hopefully it's running all well, looking all good. I might even um, have a look in a second, so I'll sort of end the video and then, well, you won't notice it. Uh, toggle your reverse off by using R while stops. Okay, that's how you get it off, so that's how I suppose you take out the reverse. Well, I suppose that is, that is, that's neutral. Toggle the railroad switch direction with Q to take the right track instead of the left. So do we have to look at it or... Q. Or maybe it's just a... Ah, I see. Increase your throttle a little uh, to drive through any switch. Feel free to play around with changing the direction and driving through them even in reverse. So if we press Q then it should... Oh yes, you can see, look, uh, on the map there, bottom left. So yes, there's 48 metres, so that's that junction ahead. And it says left or right. So if I press Q again, it's now set to the right, which I think it was set to the right. Um, right, uh, how do we go again? It, it was reverser, which was, oh my god, I've already forgot. Uh, R, there we go. And I want to set that to forward. You know what, you can actually use the um, things in here actually. Power reverser. Um, See, when it comes to uh, these things, I am fairly... Right, there you go, that's off. And then... Right, that's now forward, I think. So now we should be able to get going. There we go. Right, off we go. Seems like we're in some sort of diesel train at the moment, I think. And it's quite nice, though. We are in... I think we are in Germany at the moment. And we don't hear Sefer, 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 Sefer. <laughs> Uh, which is is a relief. Increase your throttle a little to drive through any switch. Okay, so we're going along to here. Horn, where's the horn? Let's find the horn. It might not let us click it as it's a tutorial. From coupling, toggle doors. 
there seems to be a passenger locomotive as well. Uh, use C to cycle through gameplay cameras at least once until you get to the cabin camera view. Okay, so you've got a front one out the front, one on the side, one on the top, and one back in there. Uh, identify the throttle lever and increase it at least once by holding that. So we'll drag that. Now do the same with the brake. So that would be on this side. It's, uh, oh, scenario complete. We've done it. That is the tutorial. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Just loading up the details again on my phone, which is very slow. Um, next. What's next? I guess it will be sort of the beginning of the company. You know, you're starting in London. You've got that amount of money. Do what you want. Oh, no, this is the tutorial. This is driving and rules. Okay. Uh, drive forward to the service center and press F to enter it. Okay, you can see the map down there. Okay. Uh, drive forward and press F to enter it. So, forward we go then. Need to get the reverser in it. Whoa, this is a different train. Uh, this is a new one. This is no, this is a G6. Yeah, this is a Vosola G6. I recognise this one. Oh, you got the map there as well, which is quite cool. Yes, I recognise this loco. Um, I think it's a button in here. The is it a button the reverser? There's the emergency brake. Let's get that off. Oh no, let's go. It's already all sorted for us. Cool. And also there are, is a new scenario available, which is the Extreme Cargo Scenarios uh, set. Uh, also, we've got uh, a new train that is available in the new update, which is the oh, hello, Luchnikoch DP2500. And as we said, there is a new region as well, uh, which is the Eastern Europe, which is Poland and the Czech Republic. Uh, signal visuals update and service centre overhaul. So, well, we're going into a service centre in a second, so perfect. Uh, train, I want to slow down just a little bit. So how do we get in there? It said press F to enter it. Or maybe we drive past it and then maybe then we can do it. Free track. Press F. Oh no, I can see it ahead. Cool. And there's just been various bug fixes, but that was in the most recent update. But yeah, remember this is early access still. Um, so if there is any issues with it, well, it's early access. So I'm sure Nacon have the appropriate places to report the bugs. Well, in fact, I think I did see on the menu there was a report bug area. Um, so you'd be able to do that. But yeah, if you are interested in the game and you're liking the look so far, uh, there is a link in the description. Okay, this is the service station here. I really do, I really do hope it's running well on the video. <laughs> it should be, so that's all good. But yeah, lots of uh, rolling stock on air, different trains. So yeah, looking forward to it. I suppose if you can go from London to Germany, we could have some sort of channel tunnel or something. I don't know, maybe there is some sort of channel tunnel. I can't wait to see. Let's uh, get that on. Let's try not to crash already. That would be... Uh... Yeah, right, press enter service station. Oh, let's come to a stop. Come to a stop. No, no, not the throttle. There we go, right, enter service station. Okay, on we go. Okay, here we are, it's just a service centre. Uh, service centre in Fiendorf, I'm guessing that's somewhere in Germany. Uh, so what does it want us to do? Navigate to the repair and refuel tabs. Okay, this is repair, and uh, recycle your locomotive. Recycle our locomotive, eh? Refuel. Uh, and oh, re oh, oh, I thought it said recycle your locomotives. I anyway, recycle it. Uh, refuel all, refuel and fix all. There we go. Locate the reverse train direction button. Oh, and next then we can then go back out. Drive along the route and stop in front of the sign signal. Uh, combo up inside the highlighted green area. Okay, so I think we're going back to game now. Yeah, because now we'll be facing the right way out, so that does make sense. Uh, Academy is covering all of your costs during the training. That's good. I was going to say we've got 100k, and it would be uh, a bit unfortunate if all of it was going towards the training. Um, but yeah, it seems to they are covering the cost. So drive along the route and stop in front of the sign signal combo inside the highlighted green area. So that's here, the highlighted green area. 
Uh, take note of the signs and signals indicating changes in speed or upcoming railway features. Observe how the left hand track was occupied by a broken down locomotive. Oh, I see. So I think we do need to go along the route a little bit. Okay, we can do that. I just press Q. What does Q do? Oh, yeah, that changes the points. So we're in Germany, so we want to be on the right-hand side. Okay, we've got a yellow signal there. Next bit. It tells you the speed limits there and tells you about the signals, which is all handy. Should we go full whack, full beans on this? We're getting wheel slip. I think that's wheel slip, that bottom right one. It does sound good, though. Right, I don't know, I think we are going the right way. Yeah, because that's the service station down there, isn't it? Right, map. I saw a map on here somewhere. Open tablet view. Let's have a look at the world map. Okay, so this is... Well, I suppose this, this is the academy. This is all we can go to at the moment. Uh, so we're going down to... Well, I suppose somewhere down here. Uh, we'll drive a map. Okay, so yeah, I think because we've only unlocked this, I suppose maybe you unlock more as you go along. So you sort of start in London, and you can sort of unlock more of the map as you go along. I'm guessing that maybe how it works. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We're in the Vuzzler G6 at the moment, or the SG6 as it's called on here. Um, there you go, let's get back into there. Oh, hello. Drive along the route. I guess we've got a bit of a way. Let's get that up. Sorry, wheel slip. There we go, that's better. Um, hmm. Can we find the horn? Might not actually allow us because it's in the um, tutorial at the moment. Form coupling, incline alert. Okay, so it's got all the bits and bobs you need on here. Uh, nice. Very nice. Air conditioning for a hot summer's day. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Right, let's uh, get that up. Come on, train. Struggling up the hill a bit. Should we just go full whack? There we go. That's better. We're getting wheel slip, but it's it, it's fine. The loco's enjoying it. So we get all of these, uh, all the different views on here to look around this gorgeous locomotive. Quite like this one actually. Sort of the uh, boom camera. Yeah, this is the G6, and it's. Uh, Different livery to most uh, German trains. Most German trains are all red. Uh, but this one is, well, different. It's nice. Right, hello. This one is flashing, which I believe in Germany means prepare for a speed reduction. I don't know if it is. Oh, well, like, yeah, it's alright. Oh, God, we're speeding, we're speeding, we're speeding. The speed's 30 along here. It wouldn't be a British host video without speeding, would it? Let's be completely honest. You know what I'm like when it comes... Right, here we go. Here's the area here. Let's get back into the uh, cabin. Say hello to Rudolph there. No, not that. No, 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 not that. Brakes, 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 brakes. We're all good, we're all good. There's an obstacle on the track ahead, so I'm guessing we have to switch points. Right, divert around the broken locomotive by changing the switch direction. Make sure your switch direction is set to right and drive past the broken down uh, locomotive. It's already on the right. I can see the locomotive there. Wonder what locomotive it's going to be. Any guesses, pop in chat. Or in the comments, I should say. Right, let's uh, get that up. Bit of wheel slip again. And we've got a 40 limit here. So all the signals, speedballs are all fairly, uh, well, they're easy to see. The approaching train has been spotted. Is that a G6 as well? I think that might be a G6. We're the G6, which is working. You broke down. Grr. Right. So do we need to stop? Uh, which is which direction? No. Okay, we're going straight through, I think. Well, I think we're going straight through. I'm guessing that's what we're doing. Continue driving until you've reached the next service centre. I wonder if we have to couple to that and maybe take it. I've got a feeling we might have to do that. And then take it to the service station, maybe. Although, no, this is the last objective, so probably go on to the next tutorial after this. And then we'll get out into the big world of train life. And we'll be having, quite literally, a uh, train life. Um, let's put that down. Uh, but yeah, this won't be the only video I'll be doing on this. I will be doing, uh, well, it will be a regular on the channel. So I don't think this is just a one-off. Uh, this will be regular. 
as um, I'm enjoying this. It's brilliant. Right, that's coming down. And the game can only get better and better. Uh, as I mentioned, there is a Eastern European um, DLC. Uh, I'm sure there's probably more on the way as well. Uh, so yeah, good stuff. Right, next. So what's next? Is it another tutorial or is it on to sort of the... Okay, cargo gameplay, but the thing is, you may be thinking, oh no, not more tutorials. You're gonna need them. Um, when I when, I, when I sort of was testing the you know graphics and all on here, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. So I mean, now I know how to change tracks. I know how to do the different cameras. Very much worth doing the tutorials. It's not one of those games where you can just jump straight in and know what you're doing. Even if you know trains um quite well and know how to operate them from other games and all that you will need the tutorials for this um as things are different as it's well it's a train life and you're operating your own company you will need them right um in this tutorial you will learn how to deliver a contract from one station to another firstly you need to select a contract from the nearest station you can use the radio for communicating with stations open it with a Okay, this is what I kept clicking and didn't know what I was doing. The nearest station is Forest. Forest produce logs that can be transported to a sawmill. Select the Forest station from the list. You can control the radio of one to six. Okay, so one. Ah, let's see. So we want services. So three, three, three. Contracts. Okay, this is how you get jobs, I guess. Uh, and take automatically. So the unavailable contract to choose. So that must be number two then. Two? Two. Okay. Uh, notice how the dwarf signal that guards the station entrance. I'm guessing the dwarf signal is this one here. So a um, a shunt signal. Now proceed to the station stop when the coupling and decoupling zone icon activates. Okay. Well let's uh, get them off. And uh, let's whack that up. Here we go. We're on our way. We still got 100k. Cool. So yeah, the signals are fairly easy to understand, and this the speeds are fairly easy to understand. So you shouldn't have uh, any issue, you know, getting used to the signals, and you know. Right, let's. Uh, okay, on we go. So this is the forest. So this is where we can get forestry stuff, logs. Um, well, <laughs> that's about it. Logs. So what else can you get from forests? Dunno. But yeah, you can get logs, I know that for sure. Coupling, pick up, initiate coupling from the radial menu, press in U. Well, in fact, there was a coupling thing down here, wasn't there? Yeah, so I guess we can press that as well. Uh, right, let's see. Oh, hello. Uh, you can't open the train must be fully stopped. But we're going over here, I think. Oh no, no, we can stop here, I think, because I can see the uh, coupling thing showing up now. Come to a stop. Full brakes, full brakes. So, uh, perform couple of view. So I'm guessing now we'll see it spawn on the back of us or behind us. Oh yes, behind us. Right. Uh, let's pop that into. That, and off we go. So, use the service centre to turn the train around and drive straight to the sawmill. So, if I hadn't done the tutorials and tried to turn around, I would have been like, hang on a sec, how are we going to do this? We're trapped here. And um, by doing the tutorials, I know how to do that. So, yeah, if you're getting this game, make sure you do the tutorials. I mean, if you have watched videos online, of yeah, maybe you're watching this and you're learning as we go along on this, and you'll get it and you'll know what to do. Fair enough. But if you are completely new to it, do the tutorials. Right, here we are. So we've got to turn it round in here. So I wonder if you can do anything to the wagons then um, at the service station. I don't know if you can damage them, then you'd have to repair them. No, no, so we probably will damage them. <laughs> Even if that's not possible, we probably would still somehow damage them. Right, into service station, which needs to come to a stop. Uh, and it was F. Here we go. So we're going into the service station. Um, game mode. Uh, use the service centre to turn the train around and drive straight to the sawmill. Reverse train direction. So it's almost like a mission operating the company in itself doing the tutorial. You know, we have to do all the bits and 
Okay, there you go. We've turned that around. And there we go. We're now out here. There you got a little present in there. And there is the train. So, uh, right, we've done that. Did I do something? I don't think I... I think I must have uh, not done it right. Let's have a look. Uh, use the service station. So, oh, service station. Turn the train around and drive straight. Okay, no, I, it's all good. We have to drive to the Sauma. Right. Let's get that off. And let's get going. Yes, thank you, Academy, for covering my costs. Got to have the um, emergencies off before you can... Uh, or the parking brake off before you can get going. Quite like this camera. Oh, look at that. That's I like that camera. That's like a, um, a tracking shot of the train. That one. So it's like some sort of, yeah, tracking sort of camera. I like that. And you've got this one as well. Let's see the load. So we've got, uh, well, three, three bits behind us. Drive to the sawmill. So I'm guessing that is probably just over here. I don't know if this is some sort of tutorial area. I don't know if this is a real city in real life. Um, right. We want to be on the right hand side, don't we? There we go. Let's go. Look at this. Don't want to speed, so let's uh, pop the throttle. No, no, not that. Uh, pop the throttle down. Go back. It's running very nicely, the game, which I'm very happy about. As I was sort of worried it might start being funny as Unreal Engine on my PC. Sometimes the games disagree a little bit, but I think sort of the way the graphics style is on here is like it, so that's all good. Forest entrance, free track. And we go up to 50 now, so let's get that up. So let's have a look at the map. Where's the sawmill? So we're going down here. This seems to update as you go along. Has all your money, the time, which is quite nice. So the sawmill is world. Sawmill's here. Okay, so that's where we're going now. Ah, I see that. If you go on there, you can see that. You can see what it accepts, what it's produce, uh, producing, and the amount of contracts it's got on there. That's pretty handy. Uh, let's uh, come out of there. Lovely. As we make our way along. Just get that up. There we go. Let's get a bit of speed on us. Up to 60. I think that might be the sawmill down there. Should we maybe not? Don't know if you'd lose points speeding on this, but let's try not to speed. It seems like you do have points of interest in here as well. You can see Tielendorf down there. Cool. Uh, you now don't have access to the forest. That's not very nice. Uh, use the radio again to announce your arrival. Radio was A, wasn't it? A, 2, uh, deliver. Okay, so 3, deliver. Or I'm going to speed up a little. Uh, deliver. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 we're not going back. We're not going back, please. Ah, the amount of times I've got stuck on hills in games, it's just... It's one of those things I'm good at. Right. Back we go. I think we did something wrong there. Um, sawmill. Deliver. Four. Contract. There we go. Two. And deliver manually. Cool, there we go. Right, well, let's try and get going as we've uh, got ourselves stuck on a hill, which is just, yeah, very much like me getting stuck on hills. Um, we're going to have to roll back down, aren't we? Apologies, everyone, for the day. We are rolling back. Right, quickly put that down. There you go, and try and get going. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to roll back, aren't I? This happens on every blooming train game or whatever I do. Right, we go. Just, just rolling back, nice and slow. It's, uh, this happens in real life, you know. Roll back to get up the hill. So we got like a sand that we can use. I saw something about. Um, and uh, probably is on here somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere. So it's track. Okay, right, let's uh, try now. I definitely did stop in the worst place. <laughs> Whoa. 
but we're going back. I'm fighting with the train. Right, let's see. We're surely it must be coming up to a to a flat, mustn't we? Yeah, there's the flat there. Right, there you go. We're pretty much at the bottom now. Train. There we go. It's going forward. Yes, we've done it. We're going forward. Oh, look at our driver as well. He's got a little Christmas hat on. Look at that brilliant. Right, so you can see on the radio, saw me here, we are waiting for you to go to the station, proceed to the indicated track and finish the contract by decoupling appropriate wagons. So where is the sawmill? Well, we can look at the map for that. Uh, map, 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 map. Uh, map. Uh, it's just along here, so not too far. I do like the way it's in the train, though. So you just look down, there's the map there. It's, um... Yeah, everything's sort of in convenient locations. We got another Swizzly Christmas tree, and yeah, very nice. Oh no, no, no! Oh, we no cut a train. No, 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 no. We're not. <laughs> no, we've got stuck again. Oh, we got stuck again. This is um, a little bit embarrassing. Uh, it happens happens to the best of us. Uh, all right, let's. Let's roll back. Uh, what was it for the? We'll, we'll go back. We'll go back. We'll go back, and then we'll get a full send, and then we'll go up that hill. Uh, all under control, you see. All under control. Right, we're gonna get like a run up to get up the hill. Right, ready, ready, ready. Look at this. This is gonna be amazing. Uh, forward. Ready? That goes off. A full whack on that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Maybe not so much when we get wheel slip. Actually, no, we will get wheel slip because we need to get up that hill. Right, here we go, here we go. The perfect plan, the perfect strategy. Here we go. Speed and power. We should make it. Oh, there we go, we're coming onto the grade. You can notice it, it's it's starting to stop. Haha, -ha, we've done it, Hank. We have done it. Look at that. Brilliant. And then, oh, right, we might need to be careful here because knowing us, we're going to go full send down there, and somehow things are going to happen. No, right, 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 right. No, but, uh, you can stop. Not about speed and power now. It's not about speed and power. Uh, brakes, 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 brakes. See? All under control. Right, uh, we need to come across in a second, don't we? Unless it's double track coming across into the sawmill. So yeah, we're going to have to be... I don't know if we were supposed to come across there. We'll find out in a second if we, if we did have to. So, get that up. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, we're coming up to the sawmill. It's around the corner here. A bit of a drink. Right, there we go. Cool. Right, we've got a flashing yellow, which can only mean bad things. So, um, let's be careful. Right, so we're coming up to the sawmill now. I only hope we have gone the right way. Oh, we probably were supposed to... No, that S, that must have been switch, right? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, right, left. We've done it, we're alright. I thought we... Uh, I thought we might have had to go all the way back to the previous junction and switch over there. Well, in fact, I think we... Yeah, I think we just turn off this way anyway. I don't know where that line goes. Um... Or maybe we have to unlock that bit and then we can sort of join up with it, maybe. Here, yeah, you've got another line there. Okay, where on we go? We've already said, oi, we're coming through, so they should be expecting us. And as we come up to the sawmill, uh, proceed to the station, then to the indicated track. Uh, if I press A, then. Uh, oh, hello. Um, so I thought we had contacted them. 
services for contracts two uh three no they want it over there right we'll go around we'll go around I mean it gets taken us that way anyway so we're all good let's uh take the little loco around yeah, very chilled out game. You know, one of those games where you can just sit back, chill out, you know, not really stress about it too much. Just nice nice and chilled out. One of those perfect games. Getting that up. Cool. So this is the sawmill. Yeah, once we have completed the tutorial, I guess we probably get a passenger tutorial after this, which will be cool to do as well we can sort of a passenger service. Which I probably will be doing. Actually, I don't know. What, what, what? I mean, I don't really know how you know things work exactly on here. Well, how are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do more passenger, more freight? I don't know. What is the best way to go? Oh, hello. What's? Uh, oh no, that's just, that's on a light. There we go. As I do like my passenger trains, but they wouldn't. It would be uh, fun to do. Right, that's saying. Right, we're going. No, we're going left. I think. I hope. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think there is a junction. No, there is. Be the right track. Be the right track. Be the right track. It's gonna be the wrong track, isn't it? It's the wrong track. Uh, right, let's uh, bring that down. It happens to the best of us. All right. You know, we can we can be on the wrong track at times. Right, let's bring that down. <laughs> I changed the reverser to uh, reverse, and out we go. The people at the sawmill are probably just looking at us like, "What is he doing?" Right, well, back, back we go. There you go. It's all good. It's all good. Just gonna load up the uh, sheet again. Right, back we go. So yeah, let me change it. There you go. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. Right, yeah, big thanks to um, Nikon for uh, sponsoring the video. Uh, and let's whack that up. No, 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 not that way. No, no, forward. There we go. And that's better. <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's uh, get that into forward. And off we go. We've also got some other talking points to go through, so uh, train life involves demanding gameplay based on real world behaviour where managing the uh, speed, respecting rail signals and driving instruction speed, I think we've already sped <laughs> um, and driving instruction, adapting for rail switches and managing uh, unforeseen situations is necessary, so maybe you'll get a broken down locomotive on the track or you know something like that. Um, Right, we come to a stop. Uh, the dynamic weather and day-night cycle uh, that forces you to uh, adapt to your gameplay. So one second, you know, it might be nice like this. Next second, chucking it down, not nice. Right, uh, press U. Oh, hello. Uh, enter. Yeah, scenario complete. We did it. So I'm guessing we passenger gameplay next. And we're getting money from this as well, so it's worth doing. Um, and as a company director, grow your company by optimizing for freight activities, your company name, uh, purchase various locomotives, hire your employees, handle maintenance of the train, and learn to manage emergency situations, become the most successful train company there is. Uh, right, let's uh, go to the next one, which I'm guessing will be passenger. So we'll have a look at that. Cool. Passenger, there we go. Pa oh, hello. I've got a feeling, is this Hamburg? I've got a feeling, is this Hamburg? Oh, no, it's not. Take that back. No, it's Tindorf. It's, yeah, take that back. It's Tindorf. <laughs> Uh, in this tutorial, you will learn how to deliver passengers from one station to another. Start by going to the nearest service centre and add in some passenger wagons. Note that you also need a locomotive capable of transporting them, as well as proper, as well as the proper game mode, which can be selected from any service centre. That's what that thing was. However, this time you are already starting in the appropriate mode. 
I love how you got the um, decorations in here. It's brilliant. So we're going into. Okay. Uh, start going to the nearest service centre, which I'm guessing will be. Let's have a look. That's just there. Yeah, just there. Yeah, it's just there, I think. So let's get that off. Let's get a bit of throttle. Have a little uh, drink as well. Well, this sounds diesel as well. Let's see, what train are we in? Oh, I don't know what this one is. Um, break. I'd say like a. Maybe like a 642. I don't know, I haven't seen this train before. I know they are based off real life models. Well, actually, we'll be able to see anyway, won't we, in the service centre? I think it should come up with what we are. Uh, right. Uh, and adding some passenger wagons. Okay. Okay, so this is your game mode, so there's either cargo or passengers and postage. Um, oh, here's our train here the Eagle PZK Eagle. Uh, adding wagons. Uh, add passenger wagons. Um, okay, we'll do that one as well. Boom, there we go. We've got a bit of a both there. Uh, passenger and postage transportation is performed on a player defined route. You set it up using your tablet, open it with, and go to route planner. Oh, a tablet, that's in the locomotive, isn't it? So, back to game. As you know, you know what? We're going to go back to the service centre, actually. As I saw about buying trains, we can see what trains there is uh, to buy. So these are the ones we have. Yeah, this is the Eagle. Uh, see to all the train. Wow, uh, these are all the trains you can buy. Some of them have big price tags. Uh, so you've got the G6. Uh, I guess that's a better G6. Uh, the Bison, and you seem to go along progress as you go along. So at level 20, you can unlock the uh, the Eagle W. So one of these is probably the ice. Let's just try and work out what one's ice. The ice. Ice free. Probably one of these. Probably one of the last ones, isn't it? Because it's like one of the best. Uh, you can upgrade the locos as well. That's not too bad. So I suppose that means they can go slightly faster. A bit more power. You know, take more. That's not bad at all. Right, let's go back out. Uh, let's see. Uh, passenger and postage. Oh, yes. In the route planner. So let's go back to here. So the route planner is... Is here, I think. Route planner. Oh no, open it with M. Oh no, this is the route planner. Route planner. Ah, oh, I see. So we can pick what stations. So, what's up our GPS? This route stored in your map and many maps. Select Tiendorf South. Okay, and then Tiendorf North. Uh, Stex with A, contact the first station, set services and passenger to announce your arrival. Ah, okay, so I've got it. Uh, confirm. So I think once you do make a route, um, I think you can get AI to do it as well. So then you sort of have a continuous flow of trains. It's great. Right. Let's come out of there. So we need to contact them using the radio, which is quite cool. So Tiendorf South. Uh, services. Uh, station access or passenger passenger boarding. Um, go to the station. Right, let's go. Um, so we get the brakes off and I think it wants us to go left here yeah but the looks of things it does want us to go left let's get going cool route destination has been lost uh, we've probably done something I'm following though where it wants us to go. I'm just gonna, yeah, let it. T I don't know if it matters what platform we go into. Oh no, hang on. A no, it's not. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? <laughs> right, stop the train. <laughs> we're going back. Oh, we're on the wrong platform again. All the passengers were like, hang on a second, what is he doing back there? Um, power reverser. Okay, so we need to go the other way. That's probably why it said GPS lost, didn't it? Because we went the wrong way. Oh well, it's all good. This happens in real life. Right, back to that one there. Okay, we can do that. So, back we go. 
Uh, that would be that on that. Let's whack that on. Yeah, so now we can change the tracks. Which I think would have just changed the tracks. Not too sure. Um, do we go a bit further back or do we go forward and see if that does it? Oh, there we go, yeah. You just had to set it to forward. Um, get that off and set that to forward. And let's go. So it should be going the right way now. The next one needs to be set to left. So I'm going to change that now. Right, here we go. Cool. Turned all the way. We're in the right direction now, which is good. Forwards. As we come into the station zone, hopefully you can't hear me slurping. I'm in thirsty. Right. Uh, I want to go right up to the buffers. So you wouldn't stop right here in real life, would you? Yeah, we'll go to that marker over there. I suppose in between the two markers, that's um, where you can stop. Or well, anywhere. So you could just stop here and do it. But I want to try and be a bit realistic. So we'll go right up to here. So Tiondorf, I'm guessing this is a, a real uh, German city. Um, I'm guessing this is based off the real station as well. I have seen Cologne Station. Cologne Station. I've seen that before in this game. Uh, on another video. And that, well, that looks brilliant. Um, very good. Right, here we are. Uh, enable the emergency brakes. Uh, okay. Uh, can do. Systems will remain blocked. Opening doors. There we go. Boarding passengers. That's so fairly easy to know when everything's going on. You can see it on the but, uh, top right there. Telling me what's going on. Right, finished boarding. So we press V and I guess we switched cab. Which I saw something along here on the last look. Oh. Like it. Uh, switch cab, which is... I think there was a button in here, I think, to switch cabs. Or at least in the G6 there was. So I'm guessing in this one there probably would be somewhere. Let's not take too long to flick through. There's quite a few buttons on here. There we go. Uh, drive straight to the... Oh, wait, oh, we didn't shut down the other side, did we? I don't know if it matters too much in this one. Possibly not. Uh, right, let's get going. If we start driving back, we know we didn't. S yeah, that. No, 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 no. That's, you need to stop. You need to stop. There's buffers just there. Stop. Are we good? It's all good. Right, let's. Um, I think you'd be on. You wanna, wouldn't want to be on my train, would you? Was that one right? I think that's right. It's telling me about the. Yeah, there we go. Just ignore the little crash. There might be a little dent in the train, and it's all good. That's out. We got 50 out of here, which is about sort of. Uh, oh, we got a stadium as well. There we go. Uh, do we need to contact anyone? That's so probably north, don't we? So, oh wait, we're coming in. We won't do that. We'll keep it up. We won't do it just yet. But yeah, the graphics are pretty decent on there. My crown with the horn. Yes. Cool. Forward, we, hang on. We're probably, mm, we're probably on the wrong track. <laughs> we most definitely are on the wrong track. Uh, as in Germany, you should be on the right-hand side. Let's just hope at the next station there's a crossover. There usually is. I'm liking it though. It's given me sort of... Um, yeah, just like a... What's the best way to describe it? It's just the way you can manage your own company, but also drive the trains at the same time, set up your own routes. It's, it's great. 
I mean, it's like, I suppose... Oh, you wouldn't really call it a tycoon, would you? Ty no, tycoon slash simulator into one. So you sort of have to manage the company, but also drive the trains. I think that's sort of the best way to put it. I think. So you can do the uh, best of both. Because tycoon games are brilliant, simulator games are brilliant. Yeah, I suppose it is tycoon, because you are sort of the... Uh, manager of the company, you have to manage the trains, the finances, so that's sort of the tycoon section and upgrade stations, upgrade the trains. So yeah. Off we go. Right, yeah, we want to be going right, don't we? Oh, it's six, oh hello. Yeah, okay, the speed limit's just there. Yeah, we go uh, across these points. So we do need to be on the right hand side. Um, free passenger boarding. Yeah, that's all good. So we are now cleared into Thielendorf. Not Fiendorf. I keep saying it wrong. I apologise to any Germans, um, German speakers watching the uh, video. <laughs> yeah, not Thielendorf. Fiendorf. It's probably not even that. So I apologise again. There we go, let's get a bit of speed. So I wonder if you get the highest speed lines then. I guess you do. Next bit of 60, which I'm guessing will be at the corner coming up, so. Bit of horn. I want to open the presents, I'll see what's inside the present. Yeah, there's a 60 there, right? Let's uh, bring that down. We'll let it come down naturally, actually. I think we are going up an uphill gradient, so we should be all good. There you go, keep it, yeah, 10%, keeping it 20. Yeah, 20 is not bad. Oh, hello, that's now we don't want to do that's the emergencies. We were testing the brakes. Yeah, uh, emergency space bar. Right on we go, next one's 50. Which I guess will be on entry to the station. So I'm guessing after this, that must be all the tutorials done. And then for the next one, we'll be ready to go out into the real world. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, so let's say we're on the right hand side of the. I guess it's probably straight in. Yeah, I can see. No, I think that's a service station there. But yeah, I'll be we'll have a look at the map um, again. In a sec, just to see. Well, I'm trying to admit we'll better see the world map and we can just see what you know what you can do. And no, we're going that way. We're going that way. Oh god, that's fast across there. That felt quick. No, route test station's been lost. I think we can go that way, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're all good. See, we're all good. So I think this. No, this must be some sort of tutorial map. Then I think this is. Yeah, I think this is uh, like a tutorial map. Passengers boarding? Uh, hope, I would hope not at the moment. Yeah, here we are coming in. Got a dead end station here. Oh, so it's there. Mode AC, switch AC. That's not bad, is it? Detailed though, I like it. All the bits and bobs and cab and lights. Right, let's come to a stop. Passengers, you can walk up here um, and press V. Oh, yeah, you put that on. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, I guess that's the end of that tutorial. That was quite a good one. So, now we know how to play the game. I mean, that's lovely. And we're getting money. Look, we've got 3k for that. So, we're, it's actually helping us out big time. Uh, press V to close the doors. Uh, there you go. That's that, scenario complete, and now it's, well, go to Korea. So let's have a look, I just want to have a look to see what the map's like. Congratulations, oh, hello. Let's watch this. You've completed your conductor's exam with flying colours, and you're not see, ready to flying take the rails We might have had a, a few bumps, but, um, Don't so we're forget, good. You'll prefer the reprimand for driving slowly as opposed to hitting other vehicles or breaking any laws. Well, you definitely didn't do that in this tutorial. <laughs> out, relax, and take your time. Like you it. You don't have to undertake such a large task alone. There are others like you, 
all looking to make a dent in the market and transfer okay, so what they can. Okay, so can we get competitors then, As or? As company and experience grows, you'll be able to hire some. Oh, I see. So there's other workers like doing the same exam, as us, but we can then build it together. Yeah, so it'll build the company up with different workers coming in. Yeah. Transportation between cities. And then we can hire them, and I suppose then put them onto different routes. I've heard that cities give them more accommodating companies preferential treatment. Consider that a tip from a friend. But don't go repeating it, alright? I've seen a lot of students over the years. I'll be doing it. But I've got to admit that you're graduating at an exciting time. Take chances, strategize your deliveries. So far, very enjoying it. Well, very much enjoying it. Well, that's not bad, was it? Um, not bad at all. Saving content. So now this is on to the actual career now. Seems like it's saving. There we go. Yeah, London Warehouse. This, I suppose, is our... Well, this is our uh, base, I guess. Well, this is London. So let's take a look. What was it again? Map. I want to see. Okay, this is the map. Okay, so there's, whoa, there's a lot. So this is the map you get then, you get to play with. Um, so this is London, up here. Uh, you can go all the way, Calais, Lille, Amiens, Rune, Paris, Reims. I mean, it's a massive map. Got some Munich, Stuttgart, and this is the, uh, this is Germany here. So I'm guessing when the Eastern European one comes out, if we get that, they'll add more cities over here. Um, you know, Warsaw, that sort of area. Uh, that wasn't bad at all. Not bad first impressions of the game at all. Um, well, big thanks to uh, Nacon Train Life for uh, sponsoring today's video. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Remember, link below if you do want to check the game out. It's still early access. Uh, but yeah, link below will take you to uh, where you need to go to get it. Um, yeah, brilliant. Uh, and it was about £13 on the store. Um, I had a look on Steam. Yeah, it's about £13.99, I think. Uh, so yeah, definitely worth picking up. But yes, very, very happy of that. And we will be back on this plenty. So uh, if you do want to see more, feel free to subscribe and do leave a like. But yeah, big thanks again to uh, Train Life for sponsoring the video. Much, much appreciated. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Have a, a lovely rest of your day. Links can be found to the Discord server, to the PayPal and to the merch store. But apart from that, thanks all for coming in and I hope you'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.